I found it. Okay. Let's look for a sports track. Okay. Genre. We're cinematic. Find another sports track because my other one is um, no good. Mood. Upbeat. We want funky or inspirational. I don't think we want funky. No, what do you want? Sports isn't funky. What's sports to you? Sports is, sports is a clean pass to the end zone. Inspirational? Sports is you plus me plus the big game. Okay, well, let's look at some of these. Sports is what ham- you, these hamburger names? at the touchdown Highway line. 1. Let's see what that sounds like. We can use all of these for free. That's not it. Welcome, yeah. welcome well, to Quartz. Welcome to Quartz. Here, here, uh, that's icing and offside pass. These are terrible. We need something intense. This is inspirational is the wrong. Maybe move, all right. I, I changed my mind. Put funky back in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's let's check out funky. Cinematic funky. Welcome to quartz. Welcome to quartz. Catch the ball. Oh, here's one, here's one. Out of the park. This Ooh. Night foul. Oh, we're playing baseball at night, I see. Welcome to Quartz. Yeah, you ready to get tackled? You slutty little... <laughs> yeah, little pumpkin? You slutty I got, little pumpkin. <laughs> you slutty little pumpkin. You ready to get your face carved in I by Squirts? Squirts? But, yeah, we got we got a 400-pound man named Mikey DeHammer, and he's going to fall on All you. Right, this one's called Caribbean Hide and Seek. And no sound yet so far. It's kind of a. Welcome to Quartz! <laughs> Ride the wave! I don't know if any of these are as Where'd good as go? Alex Patak's Van Halen's jump. <laughs> it's wrong that Van Halen took the money from our video just because I used their song and then claimed I wrote it and it was my song. <laughs> That's my 75 cents. All right. This segment is over now. Yeah, I think you're right. We've really overstayed our welcome. All right. (laughs) Really should have set up a camera for the cat. I didn't know he was going to sit in the other chair. I didn't chair. know either. He thinks he's the guest. <laughs> he doesn't know he's off camera. He thinks he's the guest of the show. It's really sad the way that the cat thinks it's he's It's embarrassing the guest. for you, dude. Welcome to the show. It's Quarators. Just the boys it's this the week. It's the boys. It's it's Jeremy and Alex. Come into our clubhouse and close the door. Mm. We're bullying people online. No girls allowed. And also there's no girls allowed according to YouTube stats. We are bullying people <laughs> online. I, we were talking about this before, and I'm not trying to name names, but a few people have been a, a little upset at the premise of the podcast, which is that we bully people online. Yes, but and yeah. to those people, I'd say, we're pretty committed to this. <laughs> <laughs> totally get where you're coming from. There's a bit of a sunk <laughs> cost. <laughs> we're uh, fully set sail to Carcosa. Yeah. Is um, Carcosa where the Yellow King molests those kids? Because that is not what I meant to say. <laughs> I don't know what that is. We'll put in a better pirate island later. I'm Alex. This is Jeremy. And with us, as always, is the Yellow King. Hey, welcome to the chat, Yellow King. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Every okay. sun has a shadow. Every night has a cloak. That's great to hear, Yellow King. <laughs> <laughs> You're going Quora, Yellow King? <laughs> <laughs> I mod four communities. <laughs> Questions that we ask. It was my idea to be racist on there. Mm, that's pretty cool. You're like the Jordan Peterson. I'm an OG. <laughs> Can a king be an original gangster? Write in. Write in. Quarators at gmail.com or join the Discord. That's what we're calling it. And that there's a link for that in the description too. I love online communities, mm. interacting with them. Partaking really in there. You don't like it. No, I I don't. I, I, I'm too busy being fucking real, bro. <laughs> I'm out here paying respect mm. on the streets. Mm, that's so true, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm I can't spend all my time online when I'm writing rhymes all day. It's, so it's one true. or the other, and I'm not gonna give up my lifestyle of creating mm. 
rips and rippity rhymes. You can't give your attention to the haters, which means in turn you also can't give your attention to the lovers. Due to attention uh, uh, deficit deficit disorder, disorder, I actually can't give my attention to anybody, but that's okay. Because there's a website for people like me, and that's called Quora.com. Wow. All right. Well, it's a little place where you can ask questions, and we're going to spend some time there today. Let's just take the boys. a journey over there. Now, what do we ask last? It keeps showing us bridesmaids that stole the show. I just, I think it's because there's a picture of boobs. Well, here's okay. So we've been talking about this um, in relation to YouTube, but I think it is pretty uh, like technology that. <laughs> I. Uh, and, all right, we, we don't need to talk about that. There's a big picture of a penis on Quora for some reason, and we haven't put in a question yet. Did you know the hole is called a metis? <laughs> oh, here's another thing we should try to do, too, is try to like talk about things that upset people less than the bestiality segment that went on for an hour last week. <laughs> Despite us not picking any questions. The question that is, that, that. what's every how many days should one shower? And there's a fucking zoomed in drawing of a penis. All right, save it to my computer. No, we can't do save, it. I, well, I won't be able to find it for the episode. We can't, we can't put save it, it on it YouTube. Computer. We oh. can't put a penis on YouTube. I, all right, so the yellow square in the video represents <laughs> the penis we saw. <laughs> Which is simply can't. It's just not allowed. Oh, anyway, so what I wanted to say is that when you're on the computer and the phone, um, these websites use technology that follows your eyes and sees what you look at and so every screen i am on all day has a picture of like a female athlete headlocking a guy in a bra or something and it's like i'm not clicking on these i think it's unfair they keep showing them to me i I don't think that's literally true that they track your eyes but i have seen those I've seen there there was like the um Congress people were were arguing with TikTok about this and there were a bunch of like conservative Congress members like it's tracking my eyes though right and TikTok's <laughs> like it's not and they're like then why are they there <laughs> Sorry I'm sorry waffles. Republicans are right again <laughs> Once more. I think it's just like all men. Undefeated. (laughs) Me included. uh, Need to convince ourselves that that's what it is. I clicked on one video of a pole vaulter six (laughs) months ago. There's no way. Do you know Um, how many sound effects of videos I clicked on last week? And it's still showing me like the tickle fighting Olympics. I think what it is is that we just don't use the account. Like we don't watch videos that much. I'm watching. I watched a lot of airplane sound, <laughs> helicopter sound, <laughs> missile sound, fair gun enough. sound all week, and fair I'm enough. not getting any suggestions for those. That's totally fair. I have a wife. Anyway, <laughs> what is the question this week, Jeremy? My husbands won't play co-op video games together. What can I do to get them to squat up? Now, I am interested to see what direction the online community took with this because I think that the husband's part is going to set a lot of people off. Yeah, I'm excited about it. The video game part of it has a lot of practical solutions. Let's see what they said. We got a lot of scrambled eggs questions that are very funny, but... um, Uh, Okay, but there's too many (laughs) of them. I like that you put, listen to many coordinators episodes. It's funny. (laughs) Um... Uh, but there's the few that are real are deranged. Okay. Uh, casual reminder, if you must write an answer to one of our questions, please use the words scrambled eggs. Please, so that we know that you're one of us and we're not going, look at this real life idiot. And then it's <laughs> and then just it's, one of you guys you. playing a little prank on us. We take care of our own once you're in this family. <laughs> um, we don't read your questions in a <laughs> condescending manner. <laughs> we go, ha ha, fun question. And then we go, look at this Good idiot. one. <laughs> and if if we read a, a question that we think is real and, and it's a troll, then we're the idiots. Then we're, and, and that will never happen. I won't let that happen. It's never happened before, and it's not going to happen now. I like how, so the we cat have... has fallen asleep in the guest <laughs> chair, and there's no footage of it. I was going to say, also, like when we're... Um, on the same camera, we just both look to the camera. Like, neither That's of us, right. Neither of us is looking at. Each Why other. would I look at you? I'd be looking. It's like stage acting. It's you true. always have to have your front to the audience. It's going to be a weird one to watch and because ask we're going to be looking the audience into your soul this whole episode. If YouTube is following my eyes, this is a video essay. What? What's all right? What's the anyway, answer to the question? Um, this one guy says you have to sell the concept to him and then sweeten up the deal with something that is irresistible to him. Killing spree. You could show him some games that you play and ask him to play one of these with you. Okay. If he wins, you provide a very special sexual treat that he loves most. Okay. He loses deliberately in the beginning until he is hooked, and then you can deliberately lose to him to keep him playing. Keep changing the winning prize and make sure to give it to him. 
If you have ever played strip poker, you would know what I'm talking about. Happy game playing. So this guy's like, treat your husband like a dog. I do like that. Um, and it is practical advice for how to get my husbands to play with me. But the question mm. was, how do, how do I, I get, get my husbands to play, husbands together? To play co-op together? We want them to squat up. They're so competitive for my love. We want them to be playing Warzone. They're tr- too busy fantasizing about eating my yummy body like a right. snack. That and they won't it. play Apex Legends together. Mm-hmm. They're not getting along. They're not flying on a zip line. And they're both gamers. And they're both, hey, fellas, they're both we gamers. love the game. They should be playing duos. Come on. Don't you um, want to be in the winner's circle? Rowdy Elf says, I would suggest having an open and honest conversation with both of them to understand their reasons for not wanting to play together. It's important to approach <laughs> this discussion without judgment or blame and try to find a compromise that works for everyone. That's a <laughs> confrontation I would love to see. <laughs> what option could be to find a game that both of them are interested in playing and making it a regular activity they can do together? It could also be helpful to set boundaries and establish ground rules for the gaming sessions. This is such a weird fucking... Oh, no, okay. So this is a scrambled eggs one. This is a good answer, Rowdy Elf. I appreciate it. Good answer. Say, I was going to say, it would You're be... On our team. <laughs> it would be such a weird way to be like, to not question the weirdness of this at all and yeah. just be like, um, no, this is what you need to do to get your husbands to play together. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I think this is a real right, so one. What's up? I'm just, I'm trying to think through the confrontation, the, um, uh, 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 uh what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? The John Mulaney interruption the the, the, the intervention intervention you would have to the have, thing that we all associate now with john mulaney with john mulaney crack addicted comedian. i'm on drugs That's i can't mulaney. stop nailing hooch into my tum tum <laughs> um but you would need to have an intervention where you get both of these fellows together and you would need to essentially address like it is a very yes. serious concern yes why no won't you squad up why will you boys not squat up? When are you going to put aside your toxic behaviors and get the freaking 30-30 mm-hmm. from the generator? Yeah. You're dropping. You're dropping. Why aren't you dropping together? Until your behavior picks up, Michael, David is the drop master. Mm-hmm. That's how it works. Is that how it works in um Fortnite? In Fortnite as well? Uh, no. Drop in Fortnite, everybody drops on their own. Oh, There's no weird. drop master. There should yeah. be a drop. Master. It's something called it's how I was um, raised. Freedom of speech. Uh, Fortnite trusts you to make your own decisions. Yeah, it's a very responsible game for babies. Yeah, it rules. It's for babies. It's so good. You can dab in it. I dab in real life. I don't need to do it in a game. Let's see it. <laughs> it's coming back around. It's going to be cool to do that again. I missed it the first time, so I'm all hands on deck for the return. All right, let me read this next answer yeah, from uh, Joseph. I'm trying not to dox people as much. Former retired realtor. <laughs> you love going to their house. I love doxing people. You love finding out the town they live in and I'm, finding their business card. I'm very worried it's going to come back to bite me one day. It sir, It never could. <laughs> It never could. It's bulletproof. When people are like, why are you making fun of these people on the internet? And I'm like, it's anonymous. And then I'm like, this man's name is this, and he lives in this town. I'm like, all right, well, it's not really anonymous anymore, is it? No. One day they're going to send a tiger at you. Oh, we also, you wanted me to get the John Mulaney yes. saying Quora thing. Did I you get did it? Not have I found it. it. Do you want me to play it? Yes, please. Okay, hold on. It's in the Discord. Do you mind if I yeah, hold on? Yeah, go ahead. And you have so many Discords. I don't know how the application works. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so. hold on. I, I, unfortunately, I need to cut it better so it has like one more second, but we, I, I have the clip and it's like, it's this. Get on these answer sites and people's like, you're you dying, go to Quora? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I go to Quora, right? Or whatever that is. So you got Theo Vaughn saying Quora. Yeah. That's way less goaded. I mean, John Mulaney's in there. Get on these answers. Yeah, he's talking to Theo like, Vaughn. You go to Quora? Brother. Yeah. I just like John Mulaney saying, you go to Quora? I guess we'll have to get Theo Vaughn on. We don't have to use it. We're going to use it, and we're going to make a I'm, right-wing turn. I'm good friends with Theo Vaughn. I'm happy to <laughs> ask him. Is he right-wing? I thought he's just, like, dumb. Yeah, well, there's a circle there. Sure, fair um, enough. Yeah, it's like a Joe Rogan adjacent thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but anyway, we'd love to have him on. Theo, if you're listening, we'd love we'd love to talk Quora with you. I would talk to Joe Rogan. I'd have him on here. Absolutely. I bet he would like find all these questions normal. I bet he'd absolutely fill out that guest chair with a sturdy <laughs> base. He's a thick man. He's a thick he's a stout little dwarf. And no offense to him, but he's like a chode. Yeah. <laughs> 
was that a no offense? I've never heard a no offense before chode before. <laughs> no offense, but he's like a veiny chode. I think he's a uh, thick but regular proportioned wang. <laughs> and I say that with reverence. The only episode of his podcast I've ever listened to in my life is the one with uh, Bernie Sanders on. Just because I was like, I I would love to hear what these two men talk about. I, for a second, thought I heard him talk to Serge Tankian once, but I think that was Mark Marin. Mm, mm. So, guys. yep, we've both only heard the Bernie Sanders episode. <laughs> oh, well, we're uh, soy and we're online and that's the reality <laughs> that of the soy? situation. So. We're cringe and pause. Oh, no. Any right, other anyway, answers Joseph, for this thing? Yeah, Joseph says, hey, if you got two husbands or two men that love and care for you and all of you live together and you've accomplished enough, believe me, it's not easy, but it's euphoric when it finally happens. And you get three people who are in love, and I'm talking about a deeper love than just sexual, but sex is fantastic. It feels so good to sleep my dick in my wife's pussy. And she's been <laughs> fucked. And you said smelly. This is so she nice for 75% it. of it. She loves it too. She actually craves it. She loves to eat cum and digest it. She loves it up her ass so her body can absorb it. She'll even put a butt plug in to hold it up there. One sentence, that is. She actually puts it in her ass so her body can absorb it. I'm gonna to answer comment, your question. I'm going to comment. Cool. Yeah, that's the correct answer to that. Wow. That's cool, man. <laughs> no two ways about it. That's cool. <laughs> I, I love um, love and also all that other stuff you said. So this guy, his whole thing is um, he only responds to questions about husbands. I can't believe it. He only does husbands. He's questions. part of the husband community like the rest of us. <laughs> Literally every one of this us. This is what we sound like. Oh, yeah, dude. She loves This is what come. singles think of us. Yeah, whenever I'm hanging out with my single perverts. friends, I'm like, does your wife love to eat cum? And they're like, I'm single. <laughs> Have you found a partner who craves it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm open, uh, carrying a crave case around my pants all the time. Oh, man. I just cannot believe how many questions this man has a answered about husbands. How many hamburgers are in a crave case? 30? Because that's pretty much like my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we are really, All right, uh, let's get out of really questions. unhinged without a let's guess. Let's get into the chorus. We have, we have no, we are not putting on airs today. Um, what segments <laughs> do we have? So Jeremy made the playlist today. It's a playlist. Very exciting stuff coming up. We know you're gonna love it. Um, I don't know what it is, and I can't wait okay. to find out. I'm excited. This one, this first one is. Um, oh yes, this first quora is from the police section five quo. Whoa! Holy shit! Do you want to play that one or nah? We don't uh, care. No, I don't like that. Just kidding. Me too. Uh, this, this is, is not, not a, a car. real car. This is part of the podcast. Do You're not fine. be alarmed. No one knows about the drugs. Okay. This one is from Discord user crying to Radiohead. And it is, is it a criminal offense for a beautiful young woman to give away beer? Ain't nothing wrong with that in my book. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen my recommended YouTube videos, but <laughs> that's actually something I'm very for. <laughs> I promote that in any way possible, just to it's ravish not young it's beauty giving away Bud Light. Just like skateboarding, it is not illegal. There's a cardinal outside your window. Yes. It's very distracting because it's a beautiful bird. Do not look at it. This is just like podcasting with waffles. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, well, you know who else is a beautiful bird? All these mm. foxy ladies these foxy passing ladies out, giving out beer, sips of sunshine on the streets. Um, I do think you need a license. Yes, to distribute beer. So this is the way that Quora took this question. I'm from a dry town. I don't know if I've mentioned this. the first. Are you actually? Yes. Oh, uh, up until 2009. Wow. I believe, which means my friends used to drunk drive to other towns to get beer. Wow. Welcome to Massachusetts. Wow. Thank you for having me. It's great. <laughs> Can't wait to leave and move to New York. Um, so, so Quora, the first answer was like, yeah, it's illegal to sell beer. Ha ha, just kidding. Uh, you're beautiful and I love you. And then <laughs> the next ones were all just people doing Quora things where they're like, well, technically. So this person, Dennis, says it could be if the beautiful young woman works in a tavern where they sell, all caps, beer. Got your ass. And she is giving it away. That is actually petty I'm theft. a cop. I'm a beer cop. I don't know if this has ever been prosecuted, but it has gotten people fired. Fired. Not just BYW, which I believe stands for beautiful women. Beautiful young, young women. women. Oh, that's like 
like a like a BWW, yeah, but for young B B uh, BBW BBW, right? yeah. Acronyms are so powerful, mm. but it's not just beautiful young women who get fired. It's anyone who distributes Anybody. without a license, and that's, that's why true. we say on Core Raiders every week. Do not distribute beer without a license. Say no. Say no to sales. To sales. <laughs> <laughs> to selling beer. Yeah. And just in general, I make very little money. Um, okay, what, what uh, else is on here? In Muslim countries, it might be. God is ass. <laughs> I just like people being like, is it illegal for a beautiful lady to give you a beer? And people are like, yes, in some countries, perhaps it <laughs> in is. In Saudi Arabia, they'll chop off your tits. <laughs> Other than that... <laughs> I think I think the fact that we can go maybe. through these answers and find somebody being pedantic about every word of the sentence <laughs> is very powerful. Yeah, this guy says, it depends on who she gives it to. A minor? Yes. Lock her up. Lock her up. Uh, this is my favorite answer, which is just Vanessa Carter studied at Ashworth College. She says, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> if no, you're considering being beautiful so. in sales, get out there. <laughs> you're done. And that's a night foul. Woo! <laughs> Damn, the pickup on this slow as hell. Ooh. Ah. Hey, beautiful young lady. When we have Don't 30 give that minutes. Don't a <laughs> When we have 30 minutes to intro our uh, cop <laughs> segment, this is the song we'll play. All right, play. that's all five quell. Okay. Well, that's good. I, I learned something about um, the law today, and I will apply it as a citizen. Now, this next seg- uh, segment, I feel like it is not very popular with our guests. So I think we should tackle a lot of these on our own. And I this know, is forbidden I th- knowledge. It's strange you say that. Do you disagree? I feel like this is actually everyone's favorite segment I think and the not viewers, just mine. <laughs> I think the listeners and the viewers probably like it. I like it. You like it. But I feel like whenever we go to guests and we're like, why is it that ghosts uh, yeah. need to summon the Dark Lord? And then their guests are like, I don't know what the this is. The thing about guests is they think ghosts are sus. And so they don't want to talk about them with us. But it's actually the only thing I want to talk about. And yeah. so the rest of the podcast, I'm just waiting to be like, is Bahamut real? <laughs> <laughs> so I've, I've assembled some of these uh, forbidden knowledge questions. And um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we should tackle them on our own. Yeah, we have let's, all the let's get it all out of the way. It is also my catch-all um, yes. category as well, because whenever there's a question that's very strange and it doesn't fit into the other ones, I'm like, that's forbidden. I'm this not one supposed is to forbidden. know this. <laughs> I don't know if this one really should be in there, but I found it. How do I make my bladder weak so I pee without control? A lot of layers to this. Yeah. A lot of layers. How do I make this. my bladder weak so I can pee without control? So uh-huh, I imagine that means you're just... At any moment, you just pee, and you can't... You literally have no control over it. It's to reduce control to that of anarchy Mm. in the organ of the bladder. (laughs) Now, the question is not why. Mm. It is not our place to ask. The question is how. And so how would you do it? Now, so I actually know... Uh, much like any question on Quora, an (laughs) anecdote that perfectly covers this, which is I had a friend growing up who would always hold in his pee as long as he could. And uh, even when I was like 12 years old, I remember thinking, this is very strange that he's doing this. When I have to pee, I go to the bathroom. (laughs) But uh, my friend would hold his pee in as long as he could all of the time. And then as an adult, wouldn't you know it, he is constantly peeing himself in all kinds of situations. Wow. Uh, He has once blacked out and I've had to change him. That is uh, intense. And do you know why he's peeing himself all the time? It's because... You stretch that thing out and it's getting all fucked up down there. Sure, yeah. I don't think that's your bladder, though. I think that's your um, penile organs. Yeah, it's like your uh, muscle control or whatever. It's the meatus. Yeah. From that picture we can't include. (laughs) (laughs) His meatus has grown soft with overuse. (laughs) So fucking weird. Uh, So this is... um, I should bleep out his name. I don't know why I said that. Oh, Um, sure. Whatever. Uh, So this is a... um, a fetish, right? Um, yeah, this is absolutely just horny posting, but cool. I did want to answer the question because no, yeah. there could be a medical reason. Yeah. Okay, oh, well, I plan on going into a coma, mm. and I'm tired of hoarding all my pee and right. maybe having it add up and I get an sure. infection. Wouldn't it be better if it's so weak I'm pissing nonstop mm-hmm. all day and just the orderlies go in there and they punch me in the gut sure. and they, there's a tube... <laughs> shoots into the tube and they take it away. Or maybe even like, I've been kidnapped by terrorists who want to harvest my pee. 
It's not a fetish thing, but I need to be able to pee without control. For safety. For safety. I will die if not. And the Islamic State. Yes. Just naming a terrorist doesn't have to be. There's nothing about... I. First of all, I think Wahhabism rocks. <laughs> I want to say that on the all that. <laughs> um, um, But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of good reasons. Okay, does anybody have any good... <laughs> Do you have any answers for okay. that? Okay. Every time you need to pee, hold it until you physically can't anymore. Also, wetting yourself on purpose helps. You get more comfortable with peeing in places you shouldn't. This will reduce the meters. Okay. And then the end of this comment is the most disturbing. I found that helped. Huh. Which implies that uh, this person has succeeded. What fetish is this? Is this just a peeing fetish? Because the yeah. thing about peeing is you can do it without this happening. Well, this person wants to lose control. Yeah, you want to There's be- anarcho-capitalists. There's anarcho socialists there's anarcho bladderists sure so this is a narco bladderist thought <laughs> um and in addition if well what i find interesting about it i think as like a sex thing it's like it's like non-sexual squirting it's like what yeah. we're looking for just like i couldn't help but piss i can't <laughs> I cannot imagine. Because I drank a whole Gatorade. This would be the fucking most annoying fetish to have. I would regret this fetish immediately. It would not be fun. Dom (laughs) Mimetus. Oh, God. Uh, But, yeah, I found that helped. Um, Any other... (laughs) Uh, Don't check the time. We got a lot of time left. (laughs) We have Uh, a lot more talk ahead of us. Lacey Feb says... (laughs) That's their name. Uh, I would not want this as a permanent condition, but when I was younger, Agreed. I would sometimes just drink a whole lot of liquid and go on a long walk in the evening. If I timed it right, I would need to go so badly that I couldn't keep from peeing uh-huh, myself honey. and then be relaxed enough to keep peeing smaller amounts on and off all the way home. This is my worst fucking nightmare. Why would you do this? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know. All these people are responding like it's a sex thing we all know about. Every in a community of some kind. No, so this every is just comment. on this. This is a man on the street comes up to you. They say, "How do I reduce control of my bladder so that I be peeing all of the time?" <laughs> there are like a uh, thirty nine comments. Oh, there's nine answers. Every one of them is just practical advice. Huh. Well, I'm glad that we can all be serious for five seconds. Uh, sitting on the toilet is unnatural and harmful to your core and pelvic no. floor. I have heard that before. I've heard yeah, that but before. but like to the point where you should just pee all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's so it's Delaying much more natural to pee all the time. Delaying the elimination of liquid and Although, solid waste like, for more you... than a few minutes after the initial urge is harmful and unnatural. Our amazing bodies are designed to give us a few minutes before evacuation so we can wake up and go outside the cave. This Thank is the courtesy you, until it's not. I'm thankful for my body. I'm thankful for its capacity. Have, my have amazing you ever, body. My amazing body. I body have man. seen a horse. Sick, dude. And the thing about horses yeah, or you know, and many other wild animals is they just be walking and shitting and stuff. And they do so, be like, walking and shitting and stuff. So like... That's the most natural return thing to, do. to being a, a horse. Return to being a horse. Gallop we must to freedom. go back <laughs> to grazing <laughs> in the fields. Oh, I yearn. I yearn for the pasture. <laughs> <laughs> the most natural place for a human to be is a horse. If you get real into like a uh, funky Eastern medicine stuff, there's a whole thing about um, you know, uh, giving birth in a squat. You know, that oh kind yeah, of that's thing, a thing, and yeah, how yeah. that's like more natural. It's the mm-hmm. same as a poop. There's, a, I read this book about the Gravity. serial killer who was like obsessed with this and was like make all his victims Convincing. poop the right way and then kill. That rules. Yeah, that's like Larry David, the serial killer. <laughs> You're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that's really fucking funny. Yeah. Well, I hope that these answers help this question. Before answer. I kill you, I must fix your posture. <laughs> you need a standing desk. <laughs> Before I slit your throat and eat your hands. I do not like standing desks. Uh, not I've never used me one. With that. I like to sit, even though it's the new smoking. But guess what? I like to sit after I have sex. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I like to sit too. <laughs> okay, what's our next question? Do onions work as well as garlic for repelling vampires? Oh. This is from Grayson D. Why would they? I think the answer is just no, right? No. <laughs> Nani. I'm reading this question. I'm going, Nani? Nani, dude. There's 30 answers to this. Nani Oshinderu. Vampires, which do not exist, by the way. Yeah, by the way, they're fake. If you think vampires are real, you're a baby. 
Yeah, sorry. Turn off this podcast. Are right there people now. who think vampires are real? Is that like a real thing? Like I know people think Bigfoot's definitely. real. Definitely, there are definitely people who think vampires yeah. are real because they're people who think all kinds of things. Uh, fair enough. As a matter of fact, we should probably look on Quora to a committed vampire community. That's true. And do Vampire of the Week? Maybe next episode we do Vampire of the Week. Vampire of the Week. Look behind the curtain. We're stacking episodes today. And then we and and the joke is not that we just pick like an old politician or something. Like this, yeah, that's and, too easy. and the answer is Strom Thurmond. Boom. You're not welcome on our show. You're a vampire. You dead bitch. If he wanted to come on Quarators. Strom, we, uh, you, <laughs> it's going to be Theo Vaughn, Strom Thurman, <laughs> Joe Rogan. That's yeah. our power block. For some reason, my brain was going to Louis C.K. <laughs> <laughs> Louis C.K., great follow-up, Strom Thurman. I mean, uh, there was a time when he was canceled where... Um, he was it, up there with Strom was, Thurmond. <laughs> no, where he was just going on small podcasts. Where yeah. It was like, wow, that that maybe you can get canceled. We missed just, the boat there. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then he uh, did Madison Square Garden. Yeah, he's doing fine. He's doing good. He's not going to read Quora with us. No, nor uh, would I want to. And nor would we want to. Now, what's we the don't question? Like it. Yeah, we're a... He's we're bad. A, uh, here's a question I won't ask. Will <laughs> Louis C.K. do my podcast? Will Louis C.K. do my podcast? Uh, Strom Thurmond, though. Okay, anyway... Um, Someone says no, and also you need good garlic, not this Western European thing <laughs> that looks like a garlic. <laughs> That's no the best answer to that question. Uh, okay. Heavens, you guys have no idea what you miss. Only someone from South Europe and the Balkan may know what I'm talking about. No it's offense, garlic, garlic supremacy happening in here. I love the idea of being like uh, fucking white people think they got spices when they uh, try to yeah. beat a vampire. Not that mayo ass garlic you got at Quick Foods. <laughs> Um, yeah, dude. You can't drop by a bloody Tesco's and get their garlic. Vampires be like, oh, it's too spicy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, um, that was that was a really accurate answer. Okay. Oh, wait. Right. On the other hand, this is Michael kind of the Craig, opposite gender thing. Whose job is part-time nihilist. Ah. It's been my experience that they do. I always keep a big bag of onions in the bottom drawer of my fridge. It's disgusting. Well, I mean... They go on everything. And I have for the past 40 years or so. A big bag of them. I now? could use onions every day. I'm assuming he carves these and they're not like pre-packaged bag. Although that means you've got to go through them. I'm the thinking about onions is they do go bad. You think he's got like 10 onions in his fridge for 40 years? If he's maintaining a big bag, I do think that. Anyway, I do think way, that. Yeah, no, I, mean, I think that's weird. <laughs> they're partially for self-defense. Um, he cleans his onions every night like a, like a, 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 a survivalist cleans their rifle. You know what I mean? Yes. That is true. He's a prepper. He's a prepper, but for food. Uh, anyway, so he he's says, a food prepper. He's had onions in his fridge for 40 years. The closest I've ever been to a vampire is when they occasionally show up on my television. Correlation isn't causation, though. So he Correlation admits. Correlation is not causation. He admits that he, although he has had the onions in his. Um, in his fridge for 40 years, in his experiences that he has not seen a vampire, he cannot say for certain that is the reason. So this man has never run into a vampire, but to prepare for that, has a big bag of onions, yes. which is not the myth of the thing that stops him. He says uh, he has also had garlic in the house too, so it's hard to say which object is keeping the vampires away. I suspect that my blood is unsavory. Okay. All right, well, I think they're having a bit of fun here, but... Also, at the same time, it has not been your experience that they do because yeah. you've never run into a vampire, so you haven't been able to hold them off with onions. Yeah. The myth isn't that garlic keeps vampires from entering your house. It's no, that you can it. then repel them with the garlic, I believe. Yeah, they don't like it at all. Four uh, plus. Don't even try. Don't um, even try. Well, speaking as a vampire is the beginning of the sentence, and then it is <laughs> locked behind a paywall. Cora's like, you're not allowed to know about this vampire's answer. We won't let them have... What is that one? Nani? What was that one? It's the church bells thing oh, for the religion I segment. I liked it. Yeah. Objection! Objection. Well, we're going to get to that. Spoiler that. Spoiler. All right. Well, these are boring. I don't care about These this. suck. And get question, some garlic, you lazy bums. Okay. This one is not even like really that comedic, but I feel like it's a question that we have a lot of thoughts on. Sure. This is from Discord user Sabot. Uh, have you ever encountered a, quote, shapeshifter, parentheses, a person that shifted into an animal such as a snake, et cetera, how do you identify and respond to such things? Have I ever... Oh, so this is like a skinwalker question. Yes. I got real into skinwalker TikTok when I joined. That was yes. kind of my main appeal for TikTok. I don't even know if that's a big community. It is, it is, and they treat it as a slur. They do not like it when you say oh, it, yeah, because when you true. say it, it invites a skinwalker into your home. It's true. Um, Sorry, apologies. But shapeshifters, please do not say it within my home. That's, that's my word. Apology. 
<laughs> as I am secretly a goat. Now, I have I for many years ran a Facebook page called Lizard People of New York that was about shape-shifting. And, I feel um, like we've absolutely talked about this. This we? must have been like the first thing we covered on the show. I don't know. Six months ago. Well, anyway, people used to email me all the time and be like, hey, is it anti-Semitic of you to do this? <laughs> and I'd be like, I don't know. I'm Jewish. And they'd be like, cool, I'm going to do it then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm joining fun. the clan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one guy yelled at me, and then I, um, he was like, you know, you have a real tendency to do like anti-Semitic tropes on Twitter. And wow. I was like, I'm Jewish. <laughs> and he was like, well, you shouldn't do it. Like a rabbi told me that it's actually like, still extremely anti-Semitic to make lizard people. Quick jokes. check. What was your childhood nickname? And then I said to him. Was it Capo? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I said to him, uh, I was like, are you Jewish? And then he blocked me. Ooh. And I just always think about it. Killing spree. Killing spree. We're on a different page now. The sounds on the other page. Anyway, lizard people, they're funny to make fun of. I they're think. funny to make fun of. Okay, so the question is, have you encountered a shapeshifter? Yeah. How do you identify them? So, when I watch the TikTok videos of the skinwalkers... I've seen a lot of these. You can usually encounter them by um, their telltale um, ability to make a crazy sound. Yeah. And otherwise, they are just a video of a dog. It's always a video of like a dog or like a deer. Or the scary music that follows yeah. them is the other way to identify <laughs> them. Because otherwise, I'd, I would just look at it and think, oh, this is a video of a normal dog. I've only seen the ones that you've like reposted. Yeah. And it's always like a guy being like, this. is that? It's like you hear the ghost face uh, AI voice being like, is this a shape walker? Yeah. Uh, uh, whatever, skin yeah. walker. And then they'll be like, it'll pan over. It's like a blurry night. And you hear like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not as how dogs usually make the thing. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to get fucking canceled for this. I can't. It's gonna be so embarrassing. Skinwalker Twitter's coming for my ass. It's gonna be so fucking embarrassing. Okay, so right, anyway, uh, anyway. That, that's how you find out the sounds. This guy says, uh, "I have her eyes changed, and she was aware. I noticed the atmos, the atmos, and the room between us became intense. The at- Nothing you was can't said for say ages." Atmos. You can't Short say for atmosphere. That is not a, a slang people use. Certainly not what I use. The atmos changed. The atmos changed. There's too much carbon in the atmos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the young scientists. I'm not like those old gray mm. hairs. <laughs> I'm dope. too much carb in the atmos. Oh no. Uh, nothing was said for ages until I eventually just blurted out that I've been watching stuff about reptilians. Smart. She asked Smart, me why I have told but her this. Uh, well, your eyes just went black. Went men in black, that's why. Then she proceeded to show me her webbed feet, which she claimed had not been webbed a year before. She went to recovery from drug addiction. She basically <laughs> told me that she had been possessed <laughs> slash infiltrated by reptilian and certain drugs such as heroin are frequency lowering and leave you vulnerable. Wait. Do reptiles possess you? I thought you just were one. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's a whole new level of lore. We got to unlock that. Okay. Uh, I'm glad I've never tried drugs as this was scary enough sober. She's out there with man large as life. She's out there, man. Large, large as life, life and more real than any fake virus you believe. So this is uh, interesting anti-COVID yeah. jab at the end there. <laughs> COVID's not real, but I did meet uh, someone who did so much heroin she became a wizard person. <laughs> her her res- residency was lower. She was weak to lizard infiltration. <laughs> not like some dumb SARS virus everyone mm. got. <laughs> Nature is returning. The reptilians are back. Um. Anyway, yeah, that's the one. Everyone, everyone's yeah, that's answer one. to this is just yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, I was bitten by a shapeshifter when I was a teenager. The reason I chose to include the... Oh, this is so fucking long. All right, pick a shorter one. Uh, I had a protracted encounter with a human-sized part reptile, part human creature. I had okay. passed out following a large amount of narcotics. I woke up really, really thirsty. Why is that in all of these? <laughs> I think it's just if you do a lot of drugs, you start hallucinating. Your resonance is lower. Is yeah, why. that's what it is. I'm <laughs> sorry. You're right. <laughs> Clearly, you weren't listening to the first answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Well, that's going to keep me away from hard drugs. And uh, um, that's safety first there. Think about the reptiles. Yes, I have once, but you will find that Quora is not the best place to ask or find out about the question. Shapeshifting is very rare, but exists. To find out about it, you need to go to poor countries. What? Countries that don't have Quora yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> they only have Facebook. You have to go to poor countries. You have to go just hang out on WhatsApp for a while and see what happens. Lizard people are a systemic issue that 
disproportionately yeah. Do you ever ask yourself poor. why they're made lizard people by the <laughs> structural powers <laughs> around them? Um, yeah, anyway, uh, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know. I have never encountered a shapeshifter. Then shut the fuck up. Yeah, then get off this fucking Quora. I don't want to hear Marcus. what you have to say. Marcus. No I have a good science background. Prove it by Prove meeting it. a lizard person. Objection! Marcus. Piece of shit. All right. Well, that was really interesting. I learned a lot about that one. Yeah. I really. like that we're doing all these. I like it. Should we move on? I to know it? everyone thinks they suck, but they're awesome, actually. Um, do we read any more of these encounters with lizard people? They're all kind of the same. Yeah, they're all, I did heroin and a lizard invaded <laughs> my body. We get it. Um, it's boring now. The cat fell asleep. <laughs> He's turned around the other way. He's not even facing where a camera would be. Yeah, what a jerk. Piece of shit. Waffles. You know what it is? It's just almost lunch. I'm getting crabby. Um, All right, let's read the next we one. Got? We, we got? got Corbidden Fruit. This Ooh. is our religion segment. Oh, wait. I <laughs> can't do anything I right. it's the blue one. No. It's the blue one. <laughs> Why am I so bad at everything? Uh, this is Corbidden Fruit, where you turn for answers in your darkest moments and ask religious questions on Quora. What do okay. we got? What do we got? Are the Bible's promises for the future too good to be true? Nani? I think the answer is yes. And the answer, the answer is yes. This is a real Christian question. Well, I mean, I guess the answer is no because it's a hundred percent gonna happen um it's real baby i i like this because it sounds like a commercial for heaven you know what i mean bible answers too good to be true <laughs> call now i can't believe these bible answers um done so now but not by your own hand and go to heaven so, so what is the promise from the bible just it's like it's um, kind of like fill in the blank good think, stuff right i mean it depends on what you are right so like if you're a mormon you got a planet Oh, right. I'm sick. I would love a planet. Oh, yeah. you. The thing is, I have a planet, and it's really like... No, no, you get your own planet. I, it's like the little prince. Wouldn't I be lonely on my own planet? I don't know. Well, do you get to visit other planets? Not with Joseph Smith in your heart. I would have to ask. We'll do a Mormon segment one day. Um, I, I do have a lot of questions about this. I was. I feel like there's a lot of Mormon posting on Quora. I just f instinctually feel that. I, I have a friend I who... If he's in New York, he's a comedian, and his name is Tyler Simpson. He's very funny. And he was telling me all about growing up in a uh, very religious, uh, I don't know, family. And they had all of these weird beliefs about, like, what you – I think I've talked about this. Specifically what you would get if you go to heaven, and it was uh, all so objects. And I'd love to have him on one day and just right, quiz Nintendo. him about it. Yeah, like, for you real, get though. get two Nintendo. This is like when I talked to my friend with divorced parents growing up. Yes. He was like, well, I got a PlayStation and an Xbox now. <laughs> so it's kind of a wash. Um, we'll have him on one day if he's in New York. So Bible promises you get PlayStation and the Xbox. Yes. Uh, For Jews, I feel like the Bible promises nothing. Yeah. It's just like, when you die, maybe there's an afterlife. Don't worry about it. Well, it focuses on the how to live the part where you're alive, which yes. is, I think, very responsible. I think that makes sense. But also in Judaism, God is like kind of famously a dick. Like all right. the It's just like, ignore him. We got a good thing going. Yeah. You know um, what? Let's make rules about sharing and like stuff. The, the Old Testament is a lot of stuff where God is like, all the stories are like, once there was a man and then God decided to kill everyone he knew and yeah. loved in the end. And then in the Christian version of it, it's like, God loves you and God yeah. loves me. Yeah. We're a happy family. I hate that it's like that, but that's how it is. <laughs> Sorry, but is this hack? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, here's what we're talking about. The Bible's promises, are they too good to be true? I, I, let's read the answers. Uh, no. no. If you had control okay. of all riches in the world, you would not share them with your closest friends. Okay, so this is saying, like, it is it behooves God to share some of his sweet shit. Oh, yeah. He's got such cool stuff, dude. Yeah, he's got so many. Get your many, own fucking Xbox. He's got so many drones. <laughs> <laughs> he can see all kinds of lakes and stuff. I have an uncle who I uh, never saw smile in his fucking life until he got a drone. Like, I'm that happy is for that. That's uncles. great. It was beautiful. To he think of all the time so periods happy. he would have lived in never smiling, yeah. only to now be alive in that one special time where drones come I, out. Like, he literally doesn't speak. He's like mute. And then when he got a drone, he was like, I can fly it over the houses, Ooh. and here's the neighborhood, and look at this guy's backyard, and this is how the drone works. And do I you see a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy for him. That's great. Yeah. And to think that the Bible promises that. Um. Anyway, one guy says, no, God always gives you the truth. You I see you're skipping the Bible quotes. Sorry, yeah, do you want me to read it? Revelation 21, 3, 4. Speak on it, King. 
With that, I heard a loud voice from the throne say, look, the tent of God is yep. with mankind and he will reside with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them and he will wipe out every tear from their eyes and death will be no more. Neither will mourning nor outcry nor pain be any more. The former things have passed away. Aren't you glad I made you read that? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that good we got that on the show? <laughs> it's a silly episode. I've been trying to work in Revelations quotes more into Core Raiders. Yeah. They don't come up week, a lot. So we're back to trying to convert me to Catholicism. Sounded pretty good, huh? I think so. There's a whole book of that stuff. Wow. And then there's I atheists there's being more. mean on the thread, too, where they're yeah, like, is real. a fairy tale real? Shut up. Is Peter Pan real? What does the Bible say about fortune tell? Tellers and soothsayers again. Oh my what does that mean? God. Well, he's saying that to predict the future is actually not in the Bible, sure. and so there's no promises there. I'm Fair not enough. sure that's really true. But uh the Bible You've says the Bible's like um it's like a compilation of rap skits. They got everything in there. Sure. It's like a it's like a sketch show. Yeah. It's a, a lot of it contradicts show. each other. Live from heaven. It's pretty much I my interpretation of the Bible as someone who had to read it at some point for school uh, is it's pretty much like the sketches on the Fuji's album, The Score, if there were millions of them instead of just two or three. That's cool. That part where they go to Burger King and Kung Fu fight a guy, that's a whole book. <laughs> that's dope. This is, I don't know when I, when I would need that explanation of someone who doesn't know what the Bible is but does know Fuji's sketches <laughs> from The Score, but that's what I think it would be like. Uh, get, drop us an email if that yeah. worked for you. If that really clicked. Quarators at gmail.com. Quarators at gmail.com. Join the Discord. It's in the bio. There's already a um, a waffles emoji. Yeah, unbelievable. If you're missing him in this video right now, you're gonna love this great emoji. Uh, anyway, let's do another question. Okay, um, we're freaking slamming through these things. I know. Good God. Okay. Well, speaking of God, this is from uh, Jade. Love the Driscoll. guy. What video games? If it's a video game or game, what Kill video three. game? What video game would you recommend God to play? Interesting Minecraft. There's he is the creator. Here. Yes, <laughs> Minecraft. Oh, okay, there's a list here. That's cool. This guy has a list. Oh, this is Jade. Is this the listener who wrote this list? Yes, this is. Oh. So this is from a listener. Do we want to read this? Um, this is a secret. I mean, it's on Quora. Read it. All right, Jade says, Animal Crossing. The villagers were mean and it was funny. Minecraft creative mode, you already are God. Yes, Halo, yeah, yeah. Angels Have Halos, Doom, Kill Demons, Simpsons Bowling Arcade Game, Raft, Dark Souls, Sims 4. <laughs> what, what was the logic for the Simpsons Bowling Arcade Game? Getting the high score, Getting would, be the high score would be a fun for challenge him. for him. See, the thing about God is you don't need to like show him experiences because sure, he's God, he's so he's already. like, you know, fought demons and stuff before, mm -hmm. but you just really want to give him smooth experience. You yeah. Know? Like you, he wants to play games where he's going to feel Mario's jump. Right. Like, you don't want to give him, like, Breath of the Wild because life is a sandbox to God. Yeah. Life is a physics sim. He would find it rote. Yeah, I guess he would just want, like, smooth, uh, I think, controlled experiences. I think he'd probably really like, like, Counter-Strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's really into games. the competitive angle. Well, he would always win. Yeah. Unless he's choosing to lose for some deeper meaning we can't understand. Mm. And it's probably he hard for us. He works in mysterious ways. It's hard for us to watch God lose so many games of Counter-Strike like no, that. No, no. It must be for a reason. <laughs> All things are for a reason. <sighs> I wish our team would do better. <laughs> Metroid, God, God, God is a, a game woman. just being like, ah, that was on purpose. <laughs> I work in mysterious ways. That's all part of the plan. <laughs> RM. Do you think RM Jesus now. and God and the Holy Ghost would be a good trios team? Yeah, or absolutely. Would they be Although, solos? well, it, that's the thing is they'd queue for trios, but there'd only be one in the dropship. Mm. And isn't that the most beautiful? And when there was ever? only one set of footprints, that is when I carried you as a team. As a team, and I got and the, the high. I, got I became the kill leader. <laughs> uh, okay, any other answers on here? Or nope. it's just the listener? That's just really listener. interesting. Jade? So we're really encouraging people to use Quora. That's what this whole thing's about. I should say. Um, I don't know that Jade did this, and it's very possible that they did or didn't, but don't send us Quora questions that you wrote. Oh. I don't know if there's any way for us to know. It's unknowable. But? Much like the works of the Lord. 
Sorry, I, I don't know if I misgendered Jay, but Jay is she. I think I might have said he at first. Anyway, don't. Damn. The one time you don't read the bio. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the point is. You can't um, really tell from a little circle like that. That's okay. Um, don't uh, send us questions that you wrote. If you did write one. Yeah. Anyway. That's the rules. I have one more um, Quora in our playlist. We might want to find another one. because Let's just some- do the last one. We'll see how much time we got. Okay. This is Quora Gone Wild. Okay. I didn't get rid of the cow sound. People are happy about People it. People wrote in that they wanted us to keep the cow sound. It's like it's really nowhere near the tiger's performance. Okay. This is about animals. Okay. This is the animal segment. Okay. Why do humans need to wipe after they poop when animals can just squat and plop? Why do humans need to shower or they'll get rashes and smell awful, but animals don't? Oh, this is a riddle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What poops twice in the morning, three times at night? Uh, why do humans need to wipe after they poop when animals can just squat and plop? It's a good question. My answer would probably be because uh, animals don't care if they got poop on their butt. Animals, okay, sometimes they don't care. And sometimes they just have a, like, uh, like cats, dogs, or cats at least, self-clean. It's true. You get back there, they you lick, lick it their up. own assholes. You have a powerful tongue that converts all that into energy. Somehow. So they do wipe. Yeah. Just with their tongue. They just use their freaking face. And to then do they it. lick you. Yeah. And then you've got their poop. And on you there. love it. You love everything about that. You go, oh, it's so cute. Oh, oh that's so sweet. It he must mean I'm me. good. He it doesn't me. mean you're good. It doesn't mean you're good. It doesn't mean he loves you. Stop telling everyone your dog licks you or that a cat <laughs> does. Um,. Why do humans need to shower? They'll get rashes and smell awful. Well, it's too bad that we answered this immediately, which is that the animals clean themselves. Yeah, and also <laughs> I think the answer is that like we just have shame. Like, uh, oh, yeah. Animals do smell. Animals don't turn you ever and smell call each an animal. Animals don't call each other like little homie poop ass and no, stuff. No, they certainly names don't. you would acquire if you didn't wipe. <laughs> Yeah, that's my. I'm on a new non-wiping thing. We have to return. Yeah, return. <laughs> return. To be to being horses. All right. What's the answer here? This guy, Thomas H. LaBelle, has a very long answer. Let's rap on it. Okay. Yo, every living creature has an anus. You're so desperate to rap just because I'm <laughs> rapping all the time. And it's like, not everyone has to rap. All right. All right. I'm just going to read it then. <laughs> every living creature. Oh, should I play some audio library music? Yeah, Let's sure. Let's play um, Critter Cruise. Okay, that's good. Every living creature has an anus. Ants, horse, eagles, and us. While most creatures' anuses do their jobs with little fuss, not so with human beings. The design of our anus is so is Providence's little joke to keep us humble. Consider, for example, the horse. We live across from a horse breeding establishment, so I've had ample opportunity to horse observe podcast. these estimable animals in action. This guy's just watching horses take shits. Yeah. While they shit copiously, they never get any on their hair. Nope. When was the last time you saw a horse's behind fouled by its own waist? The reason for this lies in the design of the horse's anus. It is an extensible device. When was the device. last time you've seen a horse's behind fouled by its own waist? <laughs> That's what I'm always saying. Protrudes a few critical inches, allowing the manure to drop straight to the ground without mussing a single hair. To further forfend fouling, there is no hair in the immediate vicinity of the horse's anus, nor on the extensible process itself. What a remarkable design! Not so with us. Our small orifice is buried deep in a meaty cleft. We're around halfway through the answer, by the, <laughs> the way. Marches of which have to be spread to their limit. Uh, if there is to be any chance, the thicket of long, nasty hair in the cleft is, it will be not fouled by the passing of stool. A vain exercise in 99 cases out of 100. Moreover, while the horse can defecate while standing, just let a human being try that. No, we must squat. But not only squat, we must go through all sorts of contortions to minimize the amount of feces that will cling to the surrounding parts, which we all know. The song is ended, and we are still <laughs> reading the Quora. <laughs> There's another paragraph. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done, though. The answer is because horses <laughs> they fucking shit butts. all the goddamn time, and they rock. Horses rock. <laughs> There's nothing else to know about it. <laughs> Um, anyway, what another, an important website. We're back to this part. This guy is once again saying that um, it's because of toilets. 
Oh, the toilets have weakened. You Return. Gotta be squatting. Return to being horses. And there's a diagram. This of, episode is called Return to Being Horses. Return to Being Horses. <laughs> <laughs> we must return. Do not say nay to a horse lifestyle. When the crocodile yawns, the trotulus flies into his mouth and cleans his teeth. Oh, yeah, it's that's. the birds that go in the crocodile's teeth thing. That is pretty amazing. That is cool. People don't talk enough about that. No, they don't, but we're here to, to say it. Yeah, birds, birds and crocodiles can be friends. <laughs> it's not like you've heard and... Mass media. <laughs> um, yeah, do you have one more quarrel we could sneak in here at the end? Sure. I guess we do have time. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, Let's see. see. All right. Jeremy's going. I want to find one that. Um, do you want to do a quarrel romance? Sure. Um, I'm in the mood for love. Okay. This is the final question. It's quarrel romance. Welcome to the Shagadelic. Session. Hey, if you have a question, if you want to go to loversbud.quora.com. Uh, we loversbud? Go. Yeah, it's about relationships. For fucking flowers? This one's from Ryan Yates. Come on, Come on folks. Come on. This Come is this on. flower Please internet? listen to our podcast. Please tell your friends. Please. I have to leave New York. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I love my boyfriend, but he's a very low vibrational person and makes poor decisions most of the time. I don't want to be with him anymore. How should I tell him? Uh, so what how do you tell mean? your boyfriend he's low vibrational? What is what does vibrational mean? Um, what you know, you vibrate. <laughs> I don't know. Low key, women love vibrating. It does seem like that kind of thing. It's one of those things. I don't like, want to say it's like a. It's not a gendered thing for sure, like definitely, but also like. Men don't care for vibration as much because we like to mm. keep things rock solid. <laughs> Three habits of high vibrational people that make them successful. High vibrational people are highly aware of themselves and frequency at which they vibrate. You're so, now reading medium. But people, so <laughs> that's the, the same is... level as Quora. <laughs> we haven't ascended anywhere. Yeah, no, that's not. <laughs> I just want to know what it means, like in these people's world words. You know what I mean? I, well, let's let's uh, elaborate on this. I think high vibration is just like. What did I do? What did you do? What is this? <laughs> I did not mean to do that. You just want to be a rapper so bad. <laughs> oh, is another beat playing? I guess one of us has to spit on it. Huh? It's been sixteen bars. We better get started. <laughs> Come on, we're finding uh, out vibrating no. sexually. Uh, I think it, I think it's just vibes. I Vib- think they vibes. literally mean vibrating. Do you, I mean, do you know what vibes is short for? Is vibrating. No, is that true? Yes, it's vibrations. No. What else would it be? I'm freaking out. You just never thought about it before. No. Next vibrations. Tell me, Riz is short for charisma. That one I knew. That one you knew, and that's why you put it in to start your charisma rap. <laughs> um, Yo. My name is Jeremy, <laughs> and I've got Riz. I got nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> and he so, didn't even get a rhyme so for nervous. Riz. I'm so He's so nervous. scared to rap on camera. This is my big shot. Without your MF Doom mask, you're nothing. What if there's a producer watching? There probably what is. What if there's a talent scout? Hey, you're the producer watching right here, buddy. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, his poor vibrations cause him to make poor decisions all the time. I don't want to be with him anymore. How should I tell him? So I think this is a classic situation of dumping your uh, skanky ass ho ass boyfriend yeah. for being a piece of shit. For not getting having good vibrations, but in a nice way, where you're like, "Wow, you make bad decisions hey. because you're dumb and you're, you're one of God's lower enough. creatures." Um, what's a nice way you could say that? You suck. Bye, bozo. Bye-bye, bozo. Goodbye, idiot. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. You fool. What if you do? Okay, so instead of uh, confronting him about his uh, lower life, maybe instead you trick him outside with a treat. I think you should just start vibrating so fast and hard that it's visibly annoying to be with you, and then... (laughs) And then they they're always dump making you. that sound. You're just like, yeah, yeah, and then they're yeah, like, yeah. I got it. You, yeah. You're too high vibration. You're always for making me. like a humming noise when you're like, I'm a low like, vibration uh. person. You know, you know when like uh, the, uh, old people get that sound that only teens can hear? Yeah. It's essentially that, but yeah. for your boyfriend who sucks. Oh, man. I, those bum me out because I can't because hear the sound cool sometimes. Oh, no. Yeah. And then I think it's a joke and I'm like, ha ha, it's a silent video. And then people 
hear the sound and I'm like, this is genuinely disturbing. I feel like I can hear it because I'm like so young in spirit and my vibrations mm-hmm. are so keen. Mm-hmm. But also I haven't tested in a while. Well, what does the answer say on this? Tell him in a polite manner, not over the phone or through text, but face to face if possible. If you can, uh, in a public setting, not too overly crowded or noisy like a cafe or diner, politely tell him you want to break up and remind him you still love and care for him, regardless of you guys not being able to vibe at the same level <laughs> or grow together. Because sometimes we as people do grow apart or outgrow each other, though, and so never feel ashamed of that. Somewhere not too crowded, not too sparse. Come and meet me in front of the mm-hmm. high school. I'd like to break up with you. <laughs> Yeah. Um, good answer. Hey, yeah, so that's just how to break up with someone, though. Yeah. It's not vibration based. I think you should do the vibration thing. You should be like a fucking hummingbird. Yeah, just vibrate so much that they can't handle it. Then you don't have to break up with them because they'll break up with you. That's a sure fire way to end your relationship every time. I would say tell him some kind of TikTok influencer is outside and see if he goes outside and then lock the door. <laughs> tell him, tell him Megan Beer is on the front lawn. Is that a real person? Yeah. I found out about out about her yesterday. Her name's like Roxanne Beer. I know her last name is Madison Beer. Her name is Madison Beer, and I thought that was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. What and is that no deal? one else did. What is she, what's she, how I don't she know. She was one? doing a sponsorship for Bud Light, I believe. Oh, well, and I mean, that just makes sense. It doesn't sense. get better than that, folks. <laughs> All right, let's ask Lucora. Yeah. What, do you have any questions? <sighs> let's do something about horses. Horses? Oh, yeah, we have to. Okay. We have to, first of all. Okay, so... Our question about horses, um, why do why don't horses use a toilet? Is there something like that? Something in that vein? Um, yeah. You know, it kind of like reverse engineer the question. Why has been nobody doing? ever invented a toilet for horses? Yeah, that's a really good one. Why has nobody ever invented a toilet for horses? It allows some prose riding, which is going to attract a lot of little fleas to our pile. And then in yes. addition, it is also dumb as hell. <laughs> all right, tag all the little spaces. That's going to be us for this week. Folks, it's another episode of Quar Raiders. Uh, join the Discord. We have our first live show finally booked. Big deal coming up August 5th, New yeah. York City. The tickets will be up eventually. At Caveat Bar and Lounge. Quarry you gotta be there. Quarry. It's where we got all the damn Quoras. Jeremy's big raps debut I'm live. Gonna rap. <laughs> I'm gonna do a rap about Quora. He's finally spitting bars. Mm hmm. And then you all respect me. Um, also, a mandatory plug for my podcast, which came out this week. Yeah. The Lights, season five. Listen Fe- to it. Featuring star of the show, Max Ogle, as the various pocket monsters. Uh, the premise, again, is what if the guy from Gran Torino instead had a Nidorino, and it, I essentially made a full TV show you can listen to. And that is at Theater of Delights on the podcast app. So go check that out. Listen to it. Anything for you this week? Um, no, listen to Theater of Delights. No, it's Theater of Delights this week, and that's yeah. it. Turn the Discord. And in the meantime, stay curious. Uh, question everything. <laughs>